Okay, so I'm just going to do a real quick video. Um, this is not like an unboxing review or anything. I don't, I don't post YouTube videos. But um, I'm really impressed just like getting this in the mail. And so I just wanted to say a few nice words because I think this company should have a lot more recognition. And uh, people should be more aware that they have options with keyboards. As you can see, um, this is what I have been using for years. And, um, you know, lots of errors slows you down. You know, if you don't want to, I don't want to use Bluetooth anymore. Um, I want to be wireless free. Uh, and so I'm, I'm making a change, getting a Kensington trackball and a new uh, keyboard, you know. Um, because I do music production and stuff and I don't want to be in here with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth all day. I, I've been sleeping better, but this is not a... A health video I'm gonna keep it short so the tactile pro um, it came I you know I wasn't gonna do this so I would I would have done the full unboxing but it was it came very nicely packaged there's two cables um, maybe some of you know what this is like this plugs in really easy Let's see if I can get a zoom uh, my phone's not gonna do it so that plugs in very easily to the port on my monitor, but the other one does not because there's a blue thing in the middle, but they both say USB on them. Uh, I'm not sure what that's about, but this one doesn't deliver power, I guess, um, from the port that I have. And so the other one, I, I'm going to have to call them and find out what it is, but you have two, link, two lengths of cables and they're a different kind for some reason. Um, if you want to see the box, you know. Uh, very nicely packaged. Um, if you want to read this, you can, you know, pause it. But it pretty much says what's on the website. Uh, so over here, you know, it fits. Uh, I guess it's a get comparison. You know, and uh, the first thing I did when I got this was this. <laughs> I could do that all day, you know. And then uh, this this thing is is great, and it comes with this little sheet too. Hold on a second. Um, you know, I, I'm gonna have to go through because this control up and control down. I, I've been on gestures, <coughs> excuse me, I've been on gestures since they came out with Apple. I love gestures, I love my trackpad. Um, I'm just going to run my MacBook Pro opening, you know, open as a dot, and I can still use the trackpad without having to be wireless or charge batteries or anything like that. Um, but I'm going to have to figure out, this is not working for me right now. And uh, I noticed too on my monitor, if you can see that little square in there that artifact it was worse a minute ago when i plugged that in you know stuff started going funky on the screensaver but it's fine when it's not on there um but I'm, i may have to you know plug it in down there but it, it comes with this great setup i was worried about how am i going to see see that i was worried about how i was going to control it without gestures um on the you know switching to a trackball and i'm not really worried about that anymore um, this is a much better experience, like an interface, I guess. Um, but I'm going to have to find out what the story is with these cables, what the deal is with that, but I just buy one of these. If you're looking for a different keyboard, if you don't like the membrane stuff, the stuff over here, or you don't like the Bluetooth, you don't like that they're forcing you into wireless, um, you just want an old school keyboard, whatever the reason is, if you are looking at this and watching this video, uh, this is awesome. I would like it if they would tell you what the deal is with the cables. Maybe they have and I haven't seen it, but, you know, I read through here. Maybe I'll read it again. But I just wanted to um, kind of like just give these guys a thumbs up. I'm probably going to buy several of these just to stockpile them. Uh, to have for later. I'm sure this will last a long time, but uh, it doesn't come in black as far as I know. But uh, yep, it is fantastic. 
If you guys have any questions, let me know. If you're watching this two years later and you want to know how it held up, just leave a comment. Um, I don't really have like a YouTube channel I'm trying to promote or anything. I'm just putting this up for people who might be looking. I did read a great article on my Macworld or something about the Kensington and this. Both of them I was kind of trying to figure out. See this? I don't know what that is. Let's see if it stops when I unplug it. Ah. No. Well, I've never seen that before in my life until I put this in, so I'm sure it has something to do with that. Um, but I'm about to get that computer and start using that one all the time. I just need an external hard drive to transfer. But, um, you know, it has way more um, of these function keys you can program, and I like that it has the escape. If you uh, use Sibelius, you know, you need a number pad. And, uh, and that's really helpful, but I mean, it's just it's the first thing I did with it when I got it out the box. Just you know, feels great. Um, like for real, this, this this is a cool keyboard, and uh, I did some shopping around and. You know, I didn't really find anything that I wanted more than this. I did like the Ergo Pro that they had, but it did not have a number pad and it didn't have the clicky keys. So I ended up not going that route. I ended up getting this. I'm probably going to get like a little pad, you know, figure out how I'm going to set this up. Probably. I bet that's how you're supposed to do it and have your mouse hand over here and, uh, my Kensington uh, expert mouse should be here. You know, just the marketing for these things is like, I feel like you have to do two or three hours worth of research before you know which one you want to buy. Um, I ended up, you know, for power use, going with the Tactile Pro and the expert mouse uh, track ball from Kensington. Um, and I'm going to see how that works out for me. But I'm going to get this video up for you guys. It's not an unboxing. It's not a review. It's just kind of like, I noticed that there was no, no, just normal, regular people just saying, yeah, I like it, or no, it's not worth it, or whatever. It gets my vote. Um, we'll see how that plays out. I'm a little curious about these cables and why that screen's doing that. You know, I thought, oh, nice, they gave you two different cable lengths. That's cool. But it turns out that it's, it's different. Like, if I plug the other one in, you know, if I put the other one in up there and then plug it in there, the caps lock light doesn't come on and when you type it doesn't work but when you plug this one in it works but I don't know what all that's about I'm going to reboot my computer um, and see you know why these why these are not working uh, when you press control and up it should be mission control and it does nothing this does work this does not so you know, overall, awesome. Little confusion over the cables, and I'm sure system preferences will clear up, you know, what's going on here with the, uh, with what you would use gestures for. I'm not sure what they're called, besides mission control and expose and stuff like that. And uh, I think those are the only two things that I noticed tonight. Just everything else is real positive, but I'm going to do some research and find out what's up with the cables and and system preferences and if you guys have any questions down the road I'd be happy to answer them you know I see my YouTube updates so it shouldn't be too long for me to respond um, I hope more people buy these like I, I'm sure a lot of people already do and buy their quieter ones but I hope that more people start looking for an alternative to this because I don't appreciate the fact that Apple is forcing us into wireless. Uh, I don't really feel like that's their decision to make as a company. It is, but you know, you shouldn't pigeonhole your customers like that. Um, maybe it's just not profitable because nobody buys wired. I don't know, but uh, I don't like it. And I wanted something more professional and higher grade. And I feel like I got something that's engaging, like it has passion to it. And kind of classic, but, you know, time-tested, proven, 
uh, just all around. I, I don't know what else I would, you know, want out of a keyboard. Now, if it was a gaming keyboard, or if I wanted to pick up one of those with the shortcuts printed on it, yeah, you know, I might get like an ergo keyboard or something. Uh, but as far as like what I'm doing with this, like as a regular keyboard, this is awesome. Um, so take from it what you will. I just wanted to say buy some of their keyboards. I'm, oh, by the way, I'm not affiliated. It's just, I mean, all you have to do with these keyboards to get people to buy them is put it in their hands. I mean, it's extremely, ah, it's like bubble wrap. <laughs> oh, it's in the other room. It's in the other room. I was going to pop some bubble. You know, everybody likes bubble wrap. Everybody's going to like that. Now, you might live in an office where the person sitting next to you doesn't want to hear. All day long, but, you know, a lot of us work from home and stuff, so it's, it's, uh, it's it feels nice. And it gives you, like, a solid connection to the computer, the, the wireless membrane keyboards and stuff. Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I, I kind of like having this over that. Um, there's definitely benefits, so. I definitely rambled on. I know I never set out to do a professional, streamlined, narrated video. Um, it's just a thumbs up video.